a scale that is truly, um, absolutely staggering. We already have over 500 researchers from not only across the nation, but through collaborations from around the world that are accessing Ranger right now. Things change in our, in our community very quickly, <laughs> and uh, so you've got to evolve very rapidly uh, to keep up. They can actually add new physics that can never be done before. There are no limits on the domains from which this research can come. We're beginning to see the adoption of advanced computing technologies into non-traditional areas. So the high-performance computing simulations are now enabled and empowered to compute simulations that they've never been able to do before. We're within striking distance of that magical petaflop uh, number. It's three orders of magnitude faster than the machines we had available in the late 90s. And that's huge. You know, a factor of 10 improvement in anything, right? And, and that, that means that's what? It's a 25-minute it's a flight from New York to San Francisco. And that is quite a step up on the order of a factor of 50, and uh, that means we can either do things a lot faster, 50 times faster, or the way we hope to do it is to do much larger computations. The pillars of engineering and science have grown from two to three. It used to be experiment in theory and now it's experiment theory and computation. You know, I want to simulate everything. I just, I, I want the real physics built into my models and I want to, I want to compute everything. The InfiniBand solution that Sun had offered uh, was really a, a key component for us uh, choosing the Sun solution. 10 years ago, the biggest grid that we could run was about 18,000 degrees of freedom and now we're running three or four million degrees of freedom on a regular basis. So the computers give us the ability to provide accurate solutions so that when people actually want to make decisions, they're making them based on good data. The faster the network is on the machine, the more successful we're going to be able to be in scaling up our algorithms to run across the big machine. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Ranger because it will be a big step over currently accessible computers. Ranger amplifies my ability to get more physical information and to see more physics. I mean, this is what you, what you live for if you're, if you're in my field. Well, Ranger is unique in that it's going to be the first general purpose commodity-based system uh, that's going to be able to run at this scale. If you don't get data into the system as quickly and fast as possible, then you can kind of envision sitting on a parking lot or sitting in a, in, a, in, a, in a very long line on a freeway. In some sense, you can think of this as we just built the infrastructure, so it's the actual work starts now. And it's the most powerful supercomputer in the world based entirely on community standards. Jay and his team have roughly 500 million CPU hours to provision a year. Um, within your first quarter of provisioning, you receive requests for 100 of the 125 you have per quarter which suggests that within one more quarter, you'll be saturated, and you'll, of course, need to build another one. And, and we'll, we'll be right here for you. So again, thank you. Thank you very much. Well done.